In this deposit photos review, I'm going to be showing you everything you need to know about deposit photos. Deposit photos is a library with over 195 million high quality and royalty free stock photos. So you'll be taken to this dashboard right here. You can see we have a list of features and collections they're providing you. And you know, they can tell you what's going on right here, what's editorial photography. You have a lot of things they can help you with, even questions that you can have answers to if you just scroll down the page. You can have a certain question, a certain query for what the website's trying to offer you, and it's actually right here below. As well as the languages, you can look at the website in and the information and the support contact as well. So, how this works. Now, if you want to find a certain unique photo for your website, or any social media post you have online, all you'd have to do is go in here and you would type in essentially what the photo should be. So let's do something simple. Let's say money bank. And we've typed that in. So money bank, and you have these unique photos that are available for you. You can see the pig in the house here, the stock market here. And you can see again, we'll get to this later, but this is important, this collection. But we'll get there later as it's popped up quite on its own. But yeah, you have the piggy bank here as well. And the, the coins. So you have all these different unique photos. And they all find different ways to convey what you're saying. Now, granted, what we searched up is very simple. It's very easy. You know, money bank, it's not a difficult thing at all. So let's say, before we get to any of these... Let's say we want to change the settings and change the features of what we're trying to search up, essentially. So let's say portraiture, full body, profile, wider portrait. So we want to lock it down to these filters. So let's say we want a full body kind of photo and it's locked it right here, full body. So people with money, you have human beings in the image to make it much more relatable. Or you want a profile. And here you've got a bit more dramatic images. So, you know, someone holding the piggy bank, got this uh, old gangster movie image. And naturally, you have this map of the magnet moving the money as well. And let's say, okay, we want this is a camera angle. Now, this is an interesting camera angle that they've shown the photos from. Okay, so front didn't work. But let's say we got it from above. So they didn't have anything for the front, which is interesting. But we then put we want it from above. And here you can see they've pretty much got what we are asking for. The camera angle relayed from above. You can see them making money deals. You can see them on top of the, possibly the shot. I don't know. I didn't know that building. But you can see again, they have error shots right on top of the money itself. Now, in the date added, may say we won in the past 24 hours, which would be interesting. Again, nothing added because nothing's been added in the past 24 hours. So you could put past year. <laughs> Because that's what it only has for us. So these photos, we can tell they've been added within the last year rather than the week or month. Which makes sense as this has been a running operational website for a long time. So they've got a great collection of stock images. And you can see again, even just money banks, such a simplistic, simple search. They've had so many ways to get these videos up for you. To get these pictures up for you. And you've got best match. Fresh. That's a fresh one, at least out of all those ones. And popular images as well. So these are images, it's track that users like using the most, actually. And the woman here, the group, the same man again. So it's interesting, they can track the users of the website and figure out which photos are getting the most downloads and the most clicks. Got orientation, you can mess around any of these. Any number of people in the photo. This one, let's let's look at this one. Say you want two people in the photo. You've got it right here. It's filtered for you. So you got two people at least. And uh, say you want one person. Here, it's filtered again. That's a really nice feature actually to actually lock down the amount of people you want in the image so you can focus it better. And that's really useful. And again, you've got people only exclude people if you want to. So you can just have the coins, the money. It doesn't have anything that excludes people because with this kind of search, we probably need people with all the other filters I've put on. But we'll go back to people only. Then any gender, you can say male only, which would be 
Yep, we got male onlys for the most part. At least male faces that you can see. Because I know there's some women here, but the guys are the ones who have their faces shown. And you can do the same thing for any women as well. Even woman only. Got young adult only. You can have any ethnicity if you're trying to reach a certain market. So in global markets, if you wanted to. East Asian, South Asian, Hispanic, Black. So you have all these filters, again, that could work really well. Even if you had a contributor as well, you could put their name there and find theirs. Then you could put editorial only as well and find pictures that, can, that are actually available for editorial only. So, got it right here. Then we can get off of that. And then, same thing with the color. You can mess around as well. You can find the colors you want. Again, we don't have that because we're locking down too detailed, but we'll go back. And then... So you want a red. Then, you have origin location. Get from any country if you wanted to. Indoor, outdoor, and especially the seasons and time of the day as well. That's really cool that you can get so unique any season that's in any time of the day. That's really unique and really nice. They can exclude keywords as well if you want to. So let's get rid of all these filters right now. So we can actually have some images up. And oh, those are quite nice there. So the red did work, so they've actually matched the red for us, which is really interesting. So let's click on this image. And now you can see all the options available for you. You can make small, large, super extra large. And these are the download options you have for it. So you're actually given a litany of ways that you can match the image to whatever you're trying to post or your website through that size and once again remember they're royalty free images so again there's no copyright you can use these wherever and you can see it actually shows you similar kinds of photos underneath as well and then if you go to same series that's essentially what we saw before the same series where people stand in this yellow background of course they're not red anymore because that's why they didn't appear in our filter search she had the red so she appeared but they're the same series nonetheless i think this is even the same woman which is nice, it fits the yellow background. So, same model, again. So you can even track the model and the people in the, the images, which is really unique. And even the file info you can get as well. And here, you can, you can choose some of the stock image keywords. So ATM, leisure, card, buy. So you can even start branching out to other photos just through this yourself. I click leisure and it's taken us here. So if I had an interest or, you know, I had a thought to just try another direction, I can actually do that. And it'll take me right there. So we can add it to favorites right here. So we've added it to an opulent file we've created. And that's where we get to this collection bit. So I've created some folders and there's my collection and here's opulent. So, yep, we have opulent right here. And you can collaborate with other users as well if you wanted to. So, you know, if you click this and you can share the link with anybody in view, and that's really interesting as well. So the moment you send it, you can actually foster a team spirit and get multiple people to look at this and decide which images are best for whatever you're trying to upload. So to create a new folder, you go on this, like that, tools one, create the folder right there. So that's how to make a new folder. So if we added any image, It'll go straight to tools one and that's how you cross through all of that notes as well you can add notes to the folder if you want to as well if you want any certain photos if you have comments on anything it especially works with a team if you connect them to look at the same photos because that's quite useful for people to look at and comment upon once again you can edit the text if you want to bold it italicize it underline it all these features available for you right there you can look at your recently viewed as well if you came across a photo and you know you couldn't quite remember it, you knew you liked it, but you got veered off path, you can come back here and look at the, the photos you searched up before. Okay, not much in the search up, you can see right here, already into money, the girl holding the card. And that's quite interesting. Now, here, you can also change the filter of what you're searching from an image to a vector and videos and music as well. So you have videos if you wanted to search that up, including le leisure. Same thing with sound effects as well and music. So, you know, I don't think there'll be a music for whatever we're trying to search. But, you know, we'll share it anyways. And you've got the genres you can go through. you got the songs right there. <laughs> we do have leisure, but again, they'll probably be unique songs themselves. 
all right here for you. Again, the BPM you can edit and the length too. So there's a lot of features this website really gives you. Deposit Photos, I believe, is a really powerful software. I like the fact that it doesn't just give you photos, it gives you videos as well. And it provides you with a whole list of features that you can use to filter out the kinds of photos you want. Overall, I think it's a very intuitive website. It's really successful in what it's trying to provide for you. And I can recommend it. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below and I'll provide a discounted link. Thank you for your time.